Oh man, I think the Allosaurus is he's he's happy. He's having a great time in there. That's uh I don't know if YouTube is gonna like me using that as the thumbnail for the last episode, but <laughs> I'm going to because it's too good to pass up as as vicious as it might be. As vicious as it is, I think I'm using it. Sometimes what a problem requires is a new set of eyes. Let's hire a few scientists with the skills to diagnose these animals. Make sure they are competent with the MVU and can perform medical scans on the dinosaurs. I'm interested to see what we can discover. Okay, I can, I can do that, right? I can remember how to hire scientists. There we go, view scientists. So we have two already. This guy, Addis, Addisina? Addisina, Addis I'm gonna say Joshua, that's his name. We'll go with Joshua, because I can say that one. Uh, this guy is is competent with uh, with medical, so I would assume we assign him. So recruit scientists with a combined welfare skill of three. Ah, this might be why I was only supposed to hire one the uh, the first time around. So we're gonna fire you, is what we're gonna do, and we're gonna need to recruit a new. Oh my God, we have some selections here. Uh, let's go ahead, and Thomas is looking pretty well rounded. So let's hire. Get old Thomas right there. And now, dialogue. We've hired more scientists per Dr. Dua, so we should have a better handle on the dinosaur's medical status. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what went wrong. Hey, if I've learned anything, it's that these animals are unpredictable. Like people, but with uh, bigger teeth. Yeah, we should keep an eye on her. Right, right. Uh, who, Dr. Dua? Yes. She's working for the CIA now. Oh, you'll be pleased to know I'm running a little intelligence op of my own. Looking out for the both of us. <laughs> You're a lot more astute than you let on. Smarter, too. Okay, so we need to perform a medical scan. I can drive this thing direct. Oh my, <laughs> the person with their head sticking out the top is ridiculous. <laughs> That's too good. That is too good. All right, I wish I could switch the lights on on top of this thing, but whatever. Let's um, let's pop right in, and let's see if we can get a, a a picture of the dinosaur first. There we go. It looks dead, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it does kind of look dead. Um, what about these guys over here? That one's sort of wiggling its tail a little bit, wiggling its butt. There we go. We'll submit that, and uh, let's. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Let's take direct control. Let's lock onto you and perform a medical scan and see what we can do for you. Diagnosis reported. Major fracture. Oh boy. Use the MVU to diagnose dinosaur injury using a medical scan. Major injuries require special treatment at the Paleo Medical Facility. Dinosaurs need to be transported directly into the facility. Assign scientists to treat the injury while the dinosaur is at the medical facility. We have to knock that dino out. I'd suggest a tranquilizer, but you know, <laughs> you do you. So he says that as though I would have another option. I am not gonna lie. The idea of just ramming a vehicle into a dinosaur to knock it out is both cruel and, is it wrong of me to say slightly hilarious? Is it, is it wrong of me to say, it's probably wrong of me to say that, isn't it? slightly right. hilarious now that we have control of the dinosaur temporarily let's get it transported to the paleo medical facility where we can treat its injuries so i can assign two of them to work on the dinosaur so we'll go ahead and do that and see what we can figure out we'll get the allosaurus into the medical facility get them seen to i what is what is this what is what have we got here what is, what is that? Is that like a giant, like, doctor's light or something like that? I actually really want to see what we're about to do. So we just, I like that we just drop him down. Oh my god, we're spraying him with something? What the hell are we doing? What is, what is this? I mean, they're trying, it's just spraying him. That's, that's kind of weird. He looks dead. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't 
don't like that. I, I don't like that one bit. I really don't. That's kind of weird. Um, he's nearly done though, which is which is fair enough. Uh, I guess we got that going for us. So we're ready to transport the dinosaur back in here. Wait, what do we do with him? Someplace comfortable. All right. Well, in there. I'm just gonna. I'm for this one. Look, I know what I need to do. We just move him in there. I don't need dialogue to tell me to get this dinosaur in there. We want to have the animal transported and then secure and comfortable in its enclosure, if you please. If I please, if I please, as if I have a bloody choice, if I please. There he is. Looks much better. He's quite content with himself too. So that'll keep the Allosaurus happy. These guys are chilling. I love, I'm just going to say it. I love the way these guys sit. I think it is the most ridiculous looking thing. Like that's, that's a good boy right there. That's, that is a, that's a good boy. He looks, he looks stoned off of his wee little arms. He looks, he, <laughs> man, what if we like, What if we like had, you know, like, you know, man, like, you know, what if we had like arms that went the other way, man, you know, like, dude, what if we, <laughs> what if we like, what if we had arms, dude, that, that, that went the other way? This guy's just tired. I'm, I don't know why I've rotated the camera sideways. This guy's like had enough of it. This guy's just, just having a great time. <laughs> All right, we're good. Let's let's see what else we have to do around here. <laughs> Are we done? We're done. All right. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man, the idea, the idea of a stone dinosaur. That's and like, what if we had arms that went the other way? You know, like what if a t imagine, dude, a T Rex with like longer arms. It's turning into like Nicholas. It's going less stoner and more Nicholas Cage. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. <laughs> We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40 percent of Canada's wilderness. Working together with the DFW and the CIA. We made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In the forest. <sighs> I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because the dinosaurs definitely do. The only way to fly, right? Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions. I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of disappear whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? Almost heaven, Pennsylvania. Wait a minute. A few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established, but before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> Oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs. 
while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. So we have a Carnotaurus coming in. So let's go ahead and get an enclosure for the uh, for the old Carnotaurus right there and see if we can't maybe, you know, keep him happy. I don't know if this is necessarily going to be about Again, you know, visitors or anything like that. So what I think we'll do is go for something a decent size, right? I think this right here is a, a pretty solid size. With Why is that not? Oh, hell, what have I done? What have I done? Is there a shortcut for demolish? I have no idea if there is really. Uh, let's see. Enclosures, fence. That is annoying but there we go that looks to be a pretty good looking box oh that one's not how have i managed that how did i mess up that fence that's what i did that's that's what i need to not do so grab you and come straight down and straight to there and then if we go and we demolish this guy we can just bring this straight across and there we go that looks pretty good so that's gonna be for the carnotaurus and that's where he can live if we have other dinosaurs coming in though what i'm thinking is we do something like this right so i i make just sort of a little a little corner there demolish that and what we'll do is try and keep everything almost on a grid right so that should be a pretty good space for another i guess carnivore and then in terms of the herbivores, what I think we do is I'm sort of going to go this way a bit. And we'll build an enclosure down here. Because I we we had some uh the triceratops from the first uh, place that we were working. So they can kind of live down this way and uh, maybe with some other herbivores as well. So we'll give them a bit of a bigger enclosure. So something a bit like this should be absolutely perfect for them. It's, 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 that's a pretty big enclosure. So what I'll do is make it a little bit weird, a little bit asymmetrical with uh, something a bit like that. Just a weird corner on it because I can. So that should work out. That's everything nicely placed on a grid. Obviously this one doesn't have power right now, but that's okay. So what I'll do is get ourselves a gate for this guy. We'll get a gate for this one. And I think for the gate on this one, we'll put it like right down here in this weird little space that I cut out. So that's pretty good. That'll keep us sorted. So now we're just sort of waiting for the Carnotaurus. Although the Carnotaurus wanted sand, right? If I remember right. So we want to go in and say uh, grass, rock, sand. So we'll sort of turn this entire uh, base here into a, a nice sandy enclosure. And apparently we don't have power which is, yeah, that would make sense. We'll keep it paused for a second while we do that. So we'll just say sand for all of this. They're going to need some water. They might not actually have enough uh, space now that I'm really looking at it, but we'll see what ends up happening. We'll do some water up there, and I guess they're going to want a, uh, a live prey feeder in the middle as well. So we'll do that. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what works out. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this looking as sort of square as it is right now so i'm going to just sort of make it a little more uh feathered around that area so it's a little little better looking uh so we'll just sort of gradually just go around like that with a, uh, a nice kind of sandy uh vibe and i think that looks fine that's that's pretty good so that should keep them happy and then for power i guess we go get another one of these guys and i think what i'll do is i'll just sort of throw it back about well i don't know actually I guess the overlap on this, I mean, it could go back there. I guess it could go down here. I think down there is probably pretty good. So we'll do that and we'll get this guy sort of down here as well. And I think this can go maybe right about there. So that should give power to this entire enclosure once it's built, I think. Maybe. Why isn't it? It's not being built though. Oh, there it goes. All right. So Carnotaurus. We have two of them. We'll transport them and we'll put them right in there. And that will hopefully be good enough for them. We have new arrivals that will need food and housing. 
I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all, all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc? Perfectly. Okay, so they're safely enclosed. Their comfort is solid. Uh, let's have a little look. Their comfort's actually 100%. They're very, very happy with their enclosure. So we just need to give them a bit of a viewing gallery. So I think what I'll do for the viewing gallery is, because I'm awkward like that, I'm going to put it on, well, for power's sake, I really should put it on this side, but I'm going to put it over on that side because I can. So right about, I want to say there, and we'll just go ahead and bring a, a path the entire way over. So over to about here, to about there and there, and we'll bring it out from the gallery and straight down. So that should be everything we need for those guys. I'm glad they're happy. They've got their prey. We've got the platform. So I'm kind of wondering what's going to be coming in next. Hopefully a herbivore, because I want to see if they're happy with this giant enclosure that we're giving them. I hope they are, because if they're not, I mean, you know, too bad. I'm not making it bigger. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. What are we uh, What are we looking at next? An Allosaurus. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the Chungus. And I'm pretty sure the Chungus wanted forest, right? So the, the Chungus wanted forest. Uh, what we can do is also go in with some water. So we'll do, uh, let's see, bring the radius down a little bit. We'll bring some water kind of through here, I guess. And we'll sort of bring it along and sort of in a little bit. We'll make the radius a bit smaller so it kind of, you know, it comes, comes in there nicely like that, which I think looks pretty good. And I'll just sort of chop into a little bit so it's kind of, you know, taking up a little bit less space. Maybe, uh, yeah, we can transport you. So we'll throw the Allosaurus in there. I'm going to pause, though, because I just want to get my, uh, my little water thing done there. So we'll do, we'll do sort of that. I think that looks fine. It means we can bring a path straight through there if I ever need to. Not that I'm expecting to need to, but we'll see. So the Allosaurus also needs to be visible. So we'll throw a viewing gallery, I guess. I guess back there is going to be pretty good. So we'll bring, I, I suppose, this path up here for one. But we'll also bring the path over this way and to about that spot. And we can bring it down. We can bring it over and we can bring it to there. And that looks pretty solid. So that works out. That keeps everything nice and parallel, nicely on a grid. We just need to I'm see if the Allosaurus sure is happy. Comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are. So <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. Okay, so he's safely enclosed, which is good. We just don't know if he is comfortable, so we have to have a look at him. So now that we've done that, his comfort is seventy percent. He's missing forest. So he also doesn't have prey. So a little bit more forest. And a little bit more comfort. So let's see. Let's give him a little bit of forest down there. Uh, we'll kind of keep hitting it. And I think I think that's about enough there. So we'll just give him that much. And in terms of prey, we'll just give him another live feeder as we always do. So there we go. That should keep the Allosaurus happy. Which it does. He's got a pretty good looking enclosure. If I do say so myself. We've got him a little bit of a distance away from these guys as well. So hopefully if anything goes wrong. I, I've just realized we've we are built we're putting a bunch of dinosaurs next to an airport. I say well <laughs> I'm saying that as though it would would be like a I mean it's not a good thing if they break out, but it's also not the end of the world. It's not like the dinosaur is gonna steal a plane. The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed, so build a staff center as well. Ultimately, 
Science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Is that right? Is that what we're doing? Okay, sure. Let's see what else we need here. So we need a science center, which is this guy. And actually isn't too huge. So the science center, I guess, can sort of go... I want to say like right in there. I think that'd be a pretty good spot for it. So we'll get that done. We'll just connect it up nice and easily. And it's done. We are also going to be needing, what else? A staff center, which is this guy. Which, uh, please let it fit in there. No, maybe, maybe. I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna let me. It's, it's not looking like it's gonna let me. What if I rotate that way? No, there's, I don't think there's any way this thing's fitting in there. So what about over here? Can I, can I get it in this little corner? I absolutely can. So let's do that. So the staff sensor can go, I want to say about there for the staff sensor. We'll get the, uh, get the path connected up really nicely there. And then the medical facility is the bigger building of the bunch. And it's not going to fit in that space. So what we'll do is we'll put the medical facility, we could put it over there. I think I'll put it sort of more central so that uh, any dinosaurs that get sick can easily be transported. And I think I'm going to try and put it about about there. I think it's pretty good because I think, yeah, it lines up really nicely with that little intersection. So that keeps everything sorted. Gives us a medical center, gives us staff, gives us science, and I assume research. Lambert here. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. Okay, I mean, that could have been told to me during the whole build everything else phase, but I see how it is. Uh, this thing's not going to fit in there annoyingly, but it can at least fit sort of in here. Um, so we got a helipad there. We got a helipad there. We can't fit it in there. I, I like to try and keep all of my helipads together. So maybe it actually goes sort of... I mean, I guess that's not a helipad, but... I think here for the uh, the expedition center is is probably fine. Um, although I guess keeping the facilities together and powered is is probably fine as well. So let's do that. Let's let's keep everything a little bit closer together and see what exactly we can do. So it's got a connection to the path. I would imagine it's going to be about expeditions and research now, though, right? Okay, Doctor Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hotspot. I'll do what I can on my end. Ooh, urgent message. We have an incident alert. Our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about a dangerous dinosaur in proximity to the public in the outskirts of St. Louis. Two injuries have been reported, and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. Let's do it. Let's go this way. We're going to be getting Ankylosaurus, and I guess what we do is we'll send both of them. It's only going to take 39 seconds. We'll get that started, and we're going to get some Ankylosaurus. Good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams. Which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a 100% win in my book. Now to the bad news. Which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease. And we've got to get a handle on it post haste. That's management speak for a PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Okay. We have found two Ankylosaurus. And it took 39 seconds. None of them evaded capture. 
So what we'll do is we'll transport them. They are herbivores, so we'll put them into this space here. We'll figure out what they like. We'll have to just uh, diagnose them with the mobile veterinary unit. And then see what's going on. See what we can do for them. Let's go ahead and get the rangers coming over to get a status check going. So we can also, uh, you know, just figure out what they like. So we'll have that go. We'll also grab, where is the MVU? There it is. So we'll add a task to you and get you to have a look at the Ankylosaurus. Wait, what the hell? Oh, hold on a minute. One of my Carnotaurus have, uh, have something as well. So let me add something to you. Let's medical scan and see if we can't figure out what's going on. That's a little bit worrying that he's picked something up. Little bit concerned about that. But at the very least, we'll make them, we'll make them comfortable and everything will be fine. Uh, so this one has an undiagnosed ailment as well. So does this guy, is this going to let us diagnose it? So disease contracted. You have to understand something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. They deserve a chance at life as much as any other living creature. Honestly, perhaps even more, as the miracle of science gave them a second chance. So, do the research, find the cure, and then let's use it, or the dinosaurs die again. And listen, that's not going to happen. Okay, use the MVU to diagnose dinosaur disease using a medical scan. Once identified, research the right cure for a disease at a science center, and once researched, administer the cure with a dart from the MVU. Okay, so this guy has crypto... Oh my, crypt... Cryptosporid... Oh, uh, chief, cryptosporid... Diosis, cryptosporidiosis. I, you know what? He's got something. He's been mining too much Bitcoin. I don't know. Let's uh, let's do some research, I guess. Uh, so where is my science center? It's right there. So view research. We need to, I would imagine, not go into researching things like uh, these, and instead go into medicine. And we're looking for a cure, right? So what have we got? This one right here. Inoculate. I think that's what we need. Wait, hold on. Cryptosporidiosis. Cryptosporidiosis, as I, I assume how it's pronounced. So that's what we're looking for. We'll get both scientists on it. So it'll take, you know, not too long at all. And uh, that will help us out. But before we do any of that, we'll keep the game paused because I want to see what these guys want. So they want water. They don't need much, but they want some water. They want ground leaf and ground fruit. So let's get a nice big brush going so we can do this for them. Uh, maybe a little bit less on the tree there. Maybe some more of these guys. Uh, so that should keep them relatively happy. Oh, research offers a wide range of options to expand and enhance your operations. Gain access to new buildings, building upgrades, new species, and operations improvements. Assign the appropriate scientists to research a new item, unlocking access to the next layer of items. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Um, let's see. So these guys have got some... Uh, what have they got in there? They've got ground fruit. They're looking more ground leaf. So that should keep them happy right about there. Now they just want water. So I think what we'll do is just sort of drop a big old lake right in the middle there. And that'll keep them happy. I do want to make that a little more detailed though just to make it a little more interesting looking so something like that just so it has some character we'll kind of chop into it a little bit there and maybe add a little bit kind of down here so it looks i don't know just something uh that'll be fine and that's that's pretty much i guess all they're really gonna want i should probably go ahead and throw in some more of the ranger posts though so let's get one, I want to say, I want to say here, to be honest, I think that's going to be the bulk of where these guys are. So we'll add one there. We can also add one in here, I suppose, to, uh, to cover that area. We can add one in here as well. 
And then what we'll do is grab the Rangers, add a task, and say, go to there, uh, go to there, and also go to there. And that'll let them patrol around and see what's going on. So these guys are happy. I'm pretty sure they are diseased, but they're they're happy enough. And now we have the medication. So we need to medicate the three dinosaurs. Okay. So hold on. Medicate each dinosaur with cryptid. Wait, why does it say four? I'm slightly concerned that it says four. I'm wondering if there's a dinosaur that's sick that we don't know about. Yeah, hold on a minute. So you two are sick. Oh, you're, I didn't even know about you. Okay, hold on a minute. We need to get the, uh, M wait, do we know what you have? Did we actually scan you? Do, do we know what you have? Oh, we do. Okay. So MVU, let's add a task and let's medicate you. We will medicate you. Then we'll head down and we'll medicate the Ankylosaurus as well. So that should help them out a little bit. That should get everybody nice and uh, feeling that little bit better. We can also resupply you because that's probably a pretty good idea. Um, vehicle under threat. That's never a good thing. I I don't, <laughs> don't know that that's a good thing at all. But one of them has been uh, medicated, so that's fine. The... What is it? What is this guy? The Allosaurus is going to be next. So hopefully he doesn't go for the... Uh, are we just rapidly firing darts? It looked like it for a second there. I'm going to be honest. It really looked like we were just sort of rapid firing some darts at the dinosaur and hoping for the best. I feel like that medication is expensive to just be firing out of like a <laughs> an automatic, uh, automatic rifle or something. That's... Uh, <laughs> that's 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 fair enough anyway they can head in there and the two uh the two ankylosaurus are going to be sorted out which is kind of fantastic where's the mvu oh it's struggling to get through the trees okay i mean you could have just went that way but to each their own let's see are you medicated yes you are fantastic hold on does another one have it there's one more dinosaur has has the oh my god okay you uh, and task, go and, go and medicate the other Carnotaurus, if you wouldn't mind, you know, just let's, just, you know, what, just when we think we're done, just when we think we've medicated all of them, the, the other one gets it, the other one catches the disease, the sickness, I guess they're, I guess they're not down with the sickness, or maybe they are, I guess they have it, so they, eh, I don't know, I don't know if a, a disturbed joke is, is gonna, <laughs> gonna land on this channel but you know what it's worth a shot it's it's worth a shot let's see what happens here you know speaking of shooting are you medicated there we go please don't break my car please please don't break my car <laughs> oh god all right so what do we have to do now dr dua this is lambert i've just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts can you confirm yes that's correct we need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Okay. Each species has a type. Check for details in the dinosaur statistics panel. Each type of dinosaur will peacefully cohabit with a number of other types. They will happily share territory. Some species types are incompatible with others and will conflict if they share territory. Okay, so what that says to- oh my god, hello. All right. Certain buildings have a number of possible building upgrades that can be applied to improve their performance. Research new building upgrades and the ability to add a second slot. Apply a maximum of two unique upgrades to each building in the Upgrades tab of their info panel. Okay, well I don't know that we need to do that, but I do know that we should probably send out an expedition to get more dinosaurs. So we have some choices. We have we have some choices. We have three Diplodocus near Fargo. 
We have four Cynoceratops. We have five Parasaur Parasaurolophus Parasaurs, essentially, these big fellas that I was talking about in Washington. Uh, we have Deinonychus. We have Baryonyx. We have Brachiosaurus. Oh, necky boys. Not bad. Uh, Chasmosaurus. I've got no idea what they are. Sort of a Triceratops looking thing. And Taurosaurus. Also sort of similar to, uh, to uh, Triceratops. I kind of want... I kind of want Brachiosaurus. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the Necky boy, right? 100% has to be Brachiosaurus. 